Hello everyone. This is our sixth lecture of module two, and in this lecture we will discuss about the uh, series. Mainly our topic is P test. Okay, because in your uh, question paper there will be given some series, and just you have to find out the convergence or divergence property of the series. So I am I will not discuss the depth concept of series and sequence. okay just briefly i will tell you what is sequence what is series what is convergence what is divergence and then i will start p test okay so let's start first of all let me tell you that series is the advanced concept of sequence okay so obviously we have to know what is sequence okay so first let's me tell you sequence actually sequence is the arrangement of the numbers okay arrangement of the natural numbers okay and if mathematically i can dis, uh, i can tell you that sequence is a mapping okay a mapping a mapping f maps n to r is said to be said to be a sequence in r or a real sequence a real sequence okay so a mapping suppose this is the domain domain is set of natural number and this is the codomain or range this is r and a mapping let's say f so if f maps n to r this type of mapping is called sequence okay so obviously when you are talking about the sequence the number of domain must be natural number okay 1 2 3 dot 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 the numbers must be natural number you have to remember this okay series is the advanced concept of sequence okay series means suppose you are given we denote a sequence by this curly bracket let's say un okay and we denote a series by the summation sign un okay now what is the basic difference between this sequence un that means this is the arrangement of the numbers u1 u2 u3 dot 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 un and so on okay and if i write summation un n equals to One to infinity, because in your syllabus the topic is infinite series. So summation n equals to one to infinity u n. This implies that u one plus u two plus u three plus dot 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 plus u n plus dot dot dot. So series means series means summation of the terms of the sequence. Yes or no? Series means summation of the terms of the sequence. so obviously in this sequence the terms are u1 u2 u3 dot 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 un and in series this imply the summation of the terms okay if i write the first term u1 okay first term u1 that means this one okay if i write un un means nth term nth term of the series nth term of the series okay now <clears throat> simply you have to remember what is the convergent and divergent series convergent series means simply just you can remember actually there is a concept of sequence of partial sum okay partial sum means we denote it by sn okay we denote it by sn and sn means u1 plus u2 plus dot 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 plus un that means sum of the numbers up to nth position okay sn this is called the uh, sequence of sn is you know, is sn is called the sum of the uh, nth numbers up to nth numbers and if i write sequence sn using sequence symbol this is called sequence of the partial sums this is partial sum partial sum okay now if the limit of this partial sum tends to some finite number okay limit n tends to infinity 
n tends to infinity s n this is equals to let's say any number u then you can say that the series is convergent and if limit does not exist the series is divergent okay or just simply let me tell you if for a series summation exist then you can say the series is convergent if summation does not exist the series is divergent okay you need not to find out the summation just you have to verify that summation is possible or not that means just you have to verify the series is convergent or divergent and to verify this convergence or divergence you have some test in your syllabus okay you have some test uh, one by one let me tell you uh, let me explain you the test so first test is p test okay and this is the main part of this uh, of your semester examination just you have to remember the test and you have to apply the test on the particular series then you will get the series is convergent or divergent clear so let's start p test this is the basic test uh, and you can apply p test on a basic special type of series okay suppose we have we have a positive term series a positive term series summation 1 by n to the power p okay this type of series summation 1 by n to the power p and positive term means positive term means each term of the series will be some positive number okay there will be no negative number each term of the series is positive number so summation 1 by n to the power p this type of series this is convergent this will be convergent if if p is greater than 1 okay and divergent if p is less than equals to 1 okay if p is greater than 1 the series is convergent this type of series summation 1 by n to the power p series will be convergent if p is less than equals to 1 the series will be divergent for example suppose <coughs> i am writing 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus dot 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 obviously this is an infinite series for every problem first step is you have to find out the un for every problem first step is you have to find out the un un means nth position nth position of the series nth position means this is first position or first number this is second position this is third position this is fourth position and so on here you will there exist the nth position okay so you have to find out the nth position and how to find out the nth position you have to use the concept of reasoning you have solved the reasoning problem now for n equals to 1 for n equals to 2 you have to uh, you will get a pattern pattern of the series okay so let's let's try to find out the pattern of the series obviously you will get 1 by 1 first term second term is 1 by 2 third term is 1 by 3 fourth term is 1 by 4 so for n equals to 1 you are getting 1 by 1 for n equals to 2 1 by 2 for n equals to 3 1 by 3 so obviously for n equals to n what will be the pattern 1 by n clear so series is un is 1 by n that means you can say the series is summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n Th this is the series so obviously this is of the pattern summation 1 by n to the power p yes or no and here p is equals to 1 p is equals to 1 so if p is equals to 1 you know the result the series will be divergent so this imply divergent by p test clear so obviously you can say this series 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus and so on the series will be divergent clear okay let's try another problem suppose 
suppose 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square okay plus 2 by 3 square plus 3 by 4 square plus 4 by 5 square plus dot 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 this is the series okay first step you have to find out un so un equals to un equals to so what will be un n position first take a look on the numerator n equals to 1 first term 1 n equals to 2 second term 2 n equals to 3 third term uh, 3 okay first i am uh, looking at the numerator n equals to 1 1 n equals to 2 2 n equals to 3 3 n equals to 4 4 that means the numerator will be n okay now take a look on the denominator denominator when n equals to 1 denominator is 2 square for n equals to 2 denominator is 3 square n equals to 3 denominator 4 square that means increased by 1 and that square so this will be n by n plus 1 whole square okay n by n plus 1 whole square clear so is this series in uh, in summation 1 by n to the power p this format obviously no so obviously in this test we cannot apply p test but or in this series we cannot apply p test okay so obviously this type of series we need another uh, test and we will discuss the another test in my next lecture and the test will be comparison test clear okay suppose i am giving you a series summation n to the power minus 5 by 2 and n runs from 1 to infinity tell me this series is convergent or divergent summation n to the power minus 5 by 2 obviously we can write this series in this form now summation 1 by n to the power 5 by 2 yes or no and this is of the pattern summation 1 by n to the power p and here p is equals to 5 by 2 that is greater than 1 so obviously this series will be convergent clear suppose i am writing summation n equals to 1 to infinity n to the power 5 by 2 n to the power 5 by 2 so obviously we can write summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 by n to the power minus 5 by 2 okay and here p is equals to minus 5 by 2 and obviously less than 1 so this series will be divergent okay p test is very simple but let me tell you frankly that they will not not ask uh, any series where you can apply directly the p test they will ask some questions where you have to apply two different tests and there p test will help you okay they will not ask p test directly okay so we will discuss this topic in my next video and the next topic is comparison test thank you so much